Ace, you hate the new primes too, but you took advantage. The packs offered the same particles that the prime X Borg required, but also gave out mats. Okay. Now that, I didn't look at. So, where is the X Borg prime? Is it still here? Well, let's just do it this way. That could be a, an interesting point. Let's take a peek. Hey, GP. Good morning. Ah, oh, Bel Air. That's, yeah, that's, you guys definitely have something crazy going on there. So Prime Export Credit Efficiency also takes the new dolomide particles. Okay, so it's 1,200 of those, which is the same as what you need they're in the station tree for these new primes as well. Okay. So it does overlap a little bit there. Now if you're just looking at what the pack difference is. Oh, we got our super special limit packs are back. Would you look at that? export credit efficiency so this one right here is giving you the same 1200 dolomite particles but only giving you a little bit of dilithium and latinum or you could do what ace did and instead you could buy one of these packs that gives you more than 1200 you get the latinum, you get all the other resources that come with it, and you've got 600 particles left over, which will get you a level or two of each of the new primes. It looks like Ace got two levels out of each of them. Okay. I mean, that's sort of reinvesting your materials or redistributing them. You know, tier two of each is a 20% reduction, which, you know, after the other stuff factored in, is maybe more like, you know, 3 or 5% reduction in cost. But, I mean, hey, it's still a little something, and you get the extra materials and stuff too, so. That's pretty interesting. That's clever. I like it. I like clever. I like when you find ways to not give Scopely the money that they thought that they were going to get. <laughs> or not spend the money the way that they wanted you to, to do with it when they gave you the materials for what you spent it on. You're like, yeah, by the way, I'm going to do this instead because I get better value out of it. I like it. So, Barkman, you didn't catch the vid yet. Sounds similar take to Rev, but less reserved in my disdain. Rev and I did agree on a couple points. I did take it a step further or two. Um, you know, he hates multi-level primes just to begin with. I th pointed out more and more about that this is now the second time that they've done this, where they release a prime, and then within like a month or two, they release something even better that kind of devalues what you just bought. And that is very bad for their long-term business model. And I don't think that they quite understand that because what they're teaching us is don't buy primes because there might be a better version coming out in two to three months. For those of you unfamiliar, I'm referring to Prime Syndicate, which they released last June. And for $100, it doubled the amount that you got out of your daily claim. And for a while, this daily claim was the only way to reliably source Syndicate XP. So everybody jumped on it and bought the Prime because they wanted to accelerate that process. And then two months later, they released the Mantis. And then two months after that, they released the Bajoran Faction Store and gave the Bajoran Favor. That gives you an additional 500 Syndicate XP a day completely devaluing the prime that they sold everybody back in June. And now here we are. March, they released G4 ship parts and G5 ship parts for $100 a piece. And now here they come along 
two months later, not even, just barely two months later, releasing these new primes, which not only affect G4 and G5, but a lot of other, you know, your G3 and G2 ships too, if you're still leveling up and scrapping any of those. Uh, other thing I did find very curious, and this could be some foreshadowing, efficient ship parts. Increases base cost efficiency of Explorer, Interceptor, Battleship, and Survey ship parts for ship components. Why did they spell out these four particular ship types? Hmm. It would just say like all the other ones do, right? If you go into what, Ape Outlaw here, there's one for ship parts. Material base cost efficiency for ship components. And it's just a reduction to them. Why did they spell out only these four existing ship part types or ship types? Hmm. Are we getting a fifth new ship type soon? Sure seems that way, doesn't it? And this new prime is not going to help with that because they were very, very specific in how they worded them. Could be wrong. Could just be somebody got a little... Uh, overzealous and decided to give more information than they needed to in the description. Hmm. Weird to have a money month where there's no incentive to spend money on anything good. Yeah, I mean, they did have... You know, you do have your prototype heroic event here where you can get your Exborg credit efficiency for 500 points. And it gets you halfway through this milestone. But you're right. I mean, I mean, this is a nice big chunk of gas and dilithium, but it's not like it's not like when we had like when we had Ducat in one of these events and people were buying primes and things like that, not just because it was a prime that they wanted, but because it was also giving out like a full unlock of Ducat if you leveled it up enough or something like that. I see your point there. Hey, Locust, welcome to the channel. Has anyone tried to get Scopely to refund a purchase? You can just stop right there. I don't even need to read the rest of it. The answer is no. <laughs> Scopely doesn't refund anything. They should literally just have it in their product descriptions, no refunds. Because you are almost, I mean, you would have to be some way over the top egregious thing in order to get them to do any type of refund. They're never going to agree to it. Your only real recourse is to try and make a case to, you know, your credit card company or whatever that you didn't get the product that they sold you. And they're going to say, well, did you get this? Well, yes, I did. Well, did you use this? Well, yes, I did. Does it work the way you wanted it to? Yes. Why do you want a refund? Well, because they made something better. Uh, yeah, no, sorry, that's not a valid reason for a refund. That might be a reason to do an exchange if the if the merchant will let you do that. But they don't, so. <laughs> it sucks. It's kind of a slap in the face to the people who bought the G4 and the G5 ship parts because now this new one comes along that for the same $100 is nearly three times better. And their answer would be, well, just buy both then and think of how much further you'll be because you already got 50% and now you can get another 140%. Now you'll have 190%. Clearly the answer is just buy both, right? Yeah. No, please, not another ship type. Uh, I mean, the way it's worded. <laughs> sure does seem that way. For all we know, G6 won't use ore crystal gas either. That's also a possibility. Because you're right. You know, it does spell out in the other one, right? Increases base cost efficiency of titanium, dilithium, crystal gas, and ore for ship components. G6 could use a completely different new currency. Maybe there'll be new G6 mining nodes that have nothing to do and they'll be, you know, instead of tritanium and dilithium, you're going to have trilithium and di deutanium. I don't know. 
Those sound like Star Trek resources, right? And instead of crystal gas and ore, you're going to be doing with all kinds of other particles and things like that. Maybe you got to mine some tribbles. Who knows? I guess we'll find out in a couple months when they actually launch it in full, but the wording of those two primes is certainly very curious. Scary thought, what if they rebalance so that the genuine support specialty ships are put in a new ship type? So changing, like, the Cerritos and the Titan to, like, a new ship type? Well, then I guess we got to level them up while we can before they change ship types, right? <laughs> hey, good morning, Norwich. Quadtanium, there you go. So, uh, Battle Pass event was helps. You should be around 187,000 now if you've been doing your events every day. We got eight days left in the arc, but only a couple milestones left in the actual Battle Pass. Uh, Syndicate event starts tomorrow. So line up your cooldowns, and if hopefully you haven't claimed your, your rewards and your Battle Pass yet, and you can still do that. We've only got four milestones left in here to finish up the battle pass. We'll move on to the overflow, which is right here. You got a little couple more shards for the doctor in there. Uh, your new missions, SMS. If you haven't done these yet, you got 45 minutes to do these two events, uh, get some ships going. Uh, it's not tremendous rewards, par steel and ore, but I mean, hey, do your holodeck missions ASAP. Tiberium. That one I like. I like that. There we go. Let's get some Tiberium going to upgrade our G6 ships. <laughs> That's awesome. Well played. <laughs> 